here to tell you the worst thing that you can be eating for your heart and why, and it's not sugar. Hi guys, I'm Dr. Alexa Nichols. I'm a doctor of chiropractic. This is worse than sugar, and we already know sugar is so bad for your heart. It's not red meat, it's not hot dogs, it's not french fries, it's not potato chips. It is trans fats. So now you're sitting there like, aren't those already banned? You don't see trans fats in the food supply anymore, Dr. Alexa. Wrong. It took years for our world to recognize that these trans fats are really bad for our arteries. It wildly increases our risk of heart attack, stroke, type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance, cancer. It raises your LDL cholesterol and decreases your HDL cholesterol. It creates inflammation. It causes infertility. It affects your bone and tissue health. But other than that, it's perfectly safe. Okay, so when we think of these trans fats, we think of those partially hydrogenated oils. So really quickly, let me just tell you how those are made. You start with an unsaturated fat like corn oil or soy oil. Then these are heated under really high heats. So you now have a partially hydrogenated version. So we're altering the chemistry of this oil. And these oils are what have the trans fats. So if you leave it even longer under these heats, you get a fully hydrogenated oil. And then apparently, according to our food industry, you no longer see the trans fats. Let me be super clear. This does not make it healthier. In no world do you put an oil through this whole process, change its chemistry, make it super unhealthy, and then Oh, if you just leave it a little bit longer, it's magically healthy. Not in this world, not in the world I'm living in. When you read any label and you see hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated, you need to avoid. You're basically making this liquid into a solid. So you're gonna see this in pie crusts, cookies, crackers, croutons. I just want you guys to know that every increase in trans fats by 2% in your diet increases your risk of heart attack by 20 to 30 percent. Your arteries collect these trans fats and they become rigid and hardened. You're introducing this very unnatural substance into your body. Now, the interesting thing about labels is that you're not always just watching the label for things like trans fats or hydrogenated oils. It can never be that easy. We have to make this whole thing complicated. So what you're looking for is words like encapsulated citric Acid. You will definitely see this word in your beef sticks, sausages. This is a combination of citric acid and hydrogenated oils, which include trans fats. Okay, let me tell you about a little loophole that companies have been using. So they define the term zero trans fats as anything that has less than 0.5 grams or 500 milligrams of trans fats. So it can have 0.5 grams of trans fats per serving, but can still be labeled as zero trans fats. I need to use ruffled potato chips here as an example. One serving size is about two tablespoons of potato chips, fine, okay? And they claim zero trans fats. So let me tell you what happens when you accidentally consume the whole bag, because that's what I do. I don't know about you guys. That whole bag of potato chips went from zero trans fats to a whole lot of trans fats that will now build up and collect in your arteries. This is also that same conversation for Ritz crackers. I like Ritz crackers, I know, yeah. Marketed as zero trans fats, but as soon as you have more than three crackers and mini powder donuts, Crisco shortening, very misleading. So you guys definitely need to be reading labels. Continue to be aware of what you're consuming. When you go to restaurants, try to order things that won't have these trans fats in them. Like even the croutons on your salad, you just don't know. And of course these things accumulate in your heart, in your liver. You should try to obviously use more healthy fats in your diet. So here I'm talking about the saturated fats. These can be healthy if they come from animals that are grass fed. The grain fed animals are going to be much more inflammatory. I need you to understand that most heart problems start with inflammation in the arteries. So the better we can do with avoiding these trans fats, the better our heart health will be long term. That is all I have for you guys today. Watch this video here where I talk to you guys about the damaging effects of sugar. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so we can keep making small steps towards a healthier lifestyle. And of course, thank you guys so much for watching.